stories. Neighbors are speaking up after a man is killed in a car crash in Alameda. Now people are demanding the city do more to stop the speeding through their neighborhood. Crown Force Dan Thorne has that story for us. The family is devastated by what happened here, and they, along with neighbors, say speeding has become a major issue in this area. That SUV was sent flying off of the road Monday night and into a home after someone in another car blew through a stop sign. This horrific crash leaving this community pleading for something to change. A fatal crash caught on surveillance video. A car is seen speeding through a stop sign and striking an SUV. This video from the Citizen app showing the aftermath of the accident. It ended up in this yard at the intersection of Cambridge and Fernside in Alameda. A family left heartbroken. It's tough. <laughs> I've never experienced anything like this. It's not a good feeling. Les Bianchi's 27-year-old son, Nicholas, was killed Monday night. Bianchi says his son was returning home from jet skiing when his truck was T-boned by a speeding driver around 8 p.m. I shouldn't be burying my 27-year-old son. Speeding, residents say, has become a problem in this area. Something's got to change, and it just got to change. I just hope I never have to go through anything like that ever again. Rex Smith was horrified by what he saw in his front yard Monday night. Mangled bushes and tire tracks burned into his lawn, bringing up unwanted memories. Here's a 27-year-old boy, <coughs> and his whole life ahead of him, and it just... You know, it's just gone. The city has put in automated speed signs like this to deter people from racing up and down Fernside. But neighbors say they're ignored by drivers. They're asking for police to step up patrols. People are just not respecting the, the speed limit. You know, right here's at 25 miles an hour, and I see people going 40 miles an hour. The intersection reopened Tuesday morning after more than 12 hours of being closed off. The fatal wreck has left residents angered and saddened. The Bianchi family wants justice. I want them punished. I'm empty. My heart is empty. Police are not releasing much information about this accident, but some people here in the community believe it was caused by two people that were racing or chasing each other, and that eventually went into striking this innocent person. People have been coming by the crash site and dropping off flowers and also lighting candles. The victim's family left hoping that something will be done. Reporting in Alameda, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News.